This week on Boring Gear Reviews, we've got the Safari Pedals, Gorilla Drive, Flamingo Verb, and Time Machine. Thanks so much to Gnome from Safari Pedals for sending me these plugins. So the Gorilla Drive is like a soft preamp and it offers kind of like a germanium overdrive. And here we can control the input gain, output trim, blend of wet and dry. We can also uh, control the phase. And then it has a very useful and unique EQ uh, in the tone knob. And then next we have the Flamingo Verb, which will go anywhere from a super tight room to um, like a slap back with the pre-delay to a spring and all the way to like a, a normal size plate and then to a massive super wide plate. And here we can add drive, adjust the EQ with high and low pass filters, narrow or widen the stereo field, adjust pre-delay and control the wet and dry mix. And finally, we have the time machine. And with this plugin, we have a compressor along with some preset filters based on time periods. So we control the input and output and the level of compression, and we can also blend the compression with our dry signal and choose the filter type based on uh, boards from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. There's also a noise knob which corresponds to each setting of the filter. For today's demo, I'm using my 1992 Orville by Gibson Les Paul Custom, and this has Lawler pickups, Imperial pickups. I have a low wind in the neck and a high wind in the bridge. And that will be going into my UAD Apollo X6 and the SoftTube JMP2203 amp sim. So for this first clip, we're gonna be running the Gorilla Drive and it's gonna have just like a little bit of um, extra input gain. And that'll be going into the time machine. And here we're gonna be using the 60s uh, filter preset with like a moderate amount of compression. So basically the filters on the time machine will work like this. The 50s one will be the thinnest, not that it's thin, but it'll be the thinnest sounding. And then as we go into the 60s, it'll get a little thicker. And then the 70s, a little more. And then the 80s is gonna be the fullest sounding. And the noise will change between each one as well. So for the 60s, it's gonna sound just a little bit uh, older, not quite as shiny and new, um, but still very kind of warm and natural. And the Flamingo Verb will be set very wide uh, with a fair amount of decay. And then we're just adding in a little bit of Gorilla Drive at the end as well to kind of add some warmth and some grit to the overall signal.
Okay, in this next clip, we're gonna be using the JMP2203 in the high setting, so quite a bit more gain. And that will be going first into the time machine. So just a little bit of compression. We're gonna be using the 80 setting, so the most full uh, with no noise. And that'll be going into the Gorilla Drive. And here we're adding just a little bit extra push and kind of high end sparkle. And finally, that goes into the Flamingo Verb. What's cool about this is obviously since it's a plugin, we can automate some of the features. So when it starts, we're gonna have the time of the Flamingo Verb rolled all the way off. So we're just gonna hear a little bit of the pre-delay and essentially we have a slapback delay. In the middle section, we're gonna automate the time to increase all the way up to its max. So it gets to be all the way from super tight, like a, a room slap, and then all the way to a very huge uh, plate, even hall type of uh, reverb. <laughs> All right, and lastly, we're gonna be running the Gorilla Drive, and we're gonna turn the tone all the way back. So it's gonna get as kind of lo-fi as it'll go. What's nice about the tone control on the Gorilla Drive is it doesn't get muddy. So even when we roll it all back, it still stays well enough in the spectrum that you get definition and clarity. And then if you turn it all the way up, it doesn't lose low end completely. It still stays you know, enough that you feel like there's like a, a presence. But in this case, we're gonna roll the tone all the way off. And that'll go into the time machine. Here, we're gonna use the 50s setting. So this is gonna be kind of like the oldest, thinnest, and maybe even most compressed sound. But we're also going to introduce a ton of the noise. So here we get a lot of uh, hiss and crackle and pops, which is fun because as it goes into the reverb, those artifacts will create you know, splashes and springs in the reverb. And for the Flamingo Verb, we're gonna have a large plate with the drive all the way up. So my goal with this uh, particular setting was kind of like a more lo-fi, more broken, less traditional sound. What I love about uh, plugins is the ability to kind of arrange things very quickly or rearrange you know, the order of the effects very, very quickly to come up with new stuff. So in this case, what I wanted is like a very far away broken sound with a lot of uh, kind of character and artifacts from the uh, time machine.
All right, and that'll do it for Safari Pedals plugins today. I really enjoyed these. The interface is super fun and easy. And as someone who obviously loves effects pedals, it's always nice to have some of that representation on screen as well. It makes it very fun. These things sound great. Very, very clean, easy to use. Quite a bit of versatility, honestly, more than I was expecting, particularly from the Flamingo Verb. It really does handle you know, a wide range of reverb styles. The Time Machine is a very stripped down, easy to use compressor. So if you're looking for something that's uh, not too complicated or intrusive, this is a, a nice option. And the Gorilla Drive really did add just like a little sparkle or, or, or kind of character to whatever signal I put into it. So yeah, these are very fun to use. They sound great. And I believe he has a couple more. I think there's a delay and a limiter, and I believe he's actually coming out with a physical pedal of the Gorilla Drive as well. So I'm very interested to see what's going on there. If you'd like to learn more about Safari pedals, click the link in the description below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider hitting that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notified every time I release a new video, which is every week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.